Wife keeps going to the same bar and I can't believe. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. I just found out that my wife of 3 years and partner for 7 has been sneaking around behind my back. I first noticed when she was going out a lot recently and going to the same bar. 1. She and I do not frequent that bar together. There were some inconsistencies in her stories and I got suspicious so I snooped through her phone. Well my suspicions were correct. She was messaging the bartender saying she missed him and she wanted to see him. So, naturally I asked her about it and she got defensive and angry at me for going through the phone. I think I caught it really early on and talked with her and want to make things work. Our next two days together were great. Amazing. We loved each other it felt like more than ever during those days. I then went to work, night shift, and she went out again. I questioned her and she got defensive, blocked me, stopped sharing location, and never came home. I later found out she was with him again. I don't know to what extent but they were together. She's always texting with him now and hiding her phone and I found inappropriate pictures and whatnot. I still am willing to work things out. I scheduled us for counseling. I sat down and had a heart to heart with her about what she wants and what she needs. She insists she wants us to work. That she loves me and is in love with me. We have stuff to work on and it's going to be hard. We had a civilized conversation that went well and thought we had a great path and plan to fix things. Then it ended with her leaving and staying at a friend's house. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm making all the effort and I feel like I'm being manipulated. She knows I'm here. What should I do? Here are some of the best comments from our community. You told her what you want and while she said that she wants the same, her actions have proven the exact opposite. Actions speak louder than words. Even after you caught her, she went on to cheat on you. If you keep on acting like you did until now, then this will only go on. You need to show her that you allow no one to treat you like that. You caught her, gave her a chance and she made a decision that the other guy is more important to her. Listen to that, he is more important to her. More important than you and your marriage. She has made her decision, you need to make yours now and unless she really bends backwards to show you that she had a sudden change of heart, you should not give in. Tell her that you understood her message and that you will set up a meeting with a lawyer, to prepare the divorce papers. Also tell her, that since it was so easy for her to lie to you, that you will go to a doctor and get tested for STDs. Let her know that you have lost all trust in her and this is not a marriage you want to be in. Then live up to your words, get tested for STDs and serve her the papers to make her understand that you are a man of your word. Your wife then has time until the divorce is finalized, to show you either that you made the exactly right decision or to fight for you. Don't make the mistake of fighting for her or running after her. She fucked up, if she wants to keep you, then it is her that has to put up a fight. I concur with this. I had an ex that did a very similar thing. 2.5 years of our relationship washed down the drain. He kept saying that he loved me and wanted to work it out, but wasn't coming home at night to sleep in our bed the same bed he'd been sleeping in since we moved in together two years prior. I struggled with the decision, my loneliness, and my love for him. It only prolonged the inevitable, and all the while he continued to do things dishonestly until we moved out and got separate places, and I completely cut him out of my life. It's a hard process. But I agree to this statement wholeheartedly. If she truly cares and wants to make it work, she will do whatever IT takes to make it work. If she's putting in no effort, acts not words, then she doesn't care enough to make it work, and there's no use in you holding on to something you can't change. Move on and find your happiness elsewhere, because you won't find it here. Wow, she did the most disrespectful thing possible and you took her back. She will never respect you now. She knows this bartender would never put up with her shit, and he certainly would never support her like you're a chump. He has a new girl whenever he needs one. He has yours now. He doesn't respect her, and she does not respect herself. Which is why she is cheap and easy. You deserve better. Cease all communication with her, cut her off financially, cancel her cell phone, and see a lawyer, file for a divorce and kick her out of the house and if her car is in your name take that. She will wake up one day and say what have I done and she will not like living on a bartender's pay shared by two. Get the last laugh and be done God bless you. Here is the second story. I discovered a huge secret about my girlfriend and it scarred me. I'm going to try and make this as short and precise as I can so bear with me. I, 29 meters, and my ex, 26 F, were in a relationship for about a year. I met her at a bar and she was this radiant person who caught my attention. 
We spent the whole time chatting, getting to know one another and realizing how compatible we were with what I thought at the time was shared values and whatnot. Our relationship was long distance but it wasn't a huge problem as I was able to fly to see her quite a bit, she never came to me though and when I would fly there, I'd have to stay in a hotel away from her city. I never understood why but shrugged it off anyway. The relationship was great, she seemed to be what I wanted in a partner as she was supportive, loving and caring. I remember she would tell me things such as wanting to marry me and start a family with me, which sounded great as that's what I wanted. Months passed and it was still great until near the end when I found out she hid a huge secret from me. She was already married for a while. But she told me she didn't love him, that she felt obligated to marry and to stay married to someone whom she felt was more or less a roommate to her. She would tell me she'd divorce him to be with me but because of some financial stipulations, it was hard and I needed to wait it out. However, I couldn't. I felt betrayed, as anyone would. She deceived me and I felt manipulated by her, by someone I devoted myself to. It's already hard for me to trust people and to love is a different story as it doesn't just come. I felt comfortable and safe with her so I gave her my heart which she tore. I ended things with her and she threatened to show me her true colors after all this time. So I feel that also led me down a more angry path. It has been months, maybe half a year now since we've broken up but I can't seem to get rid of this anger towards her. I resent her and I hate her, but it's the anger that resides in me that I cannot seem to control and get rid of. I know I'm not the only one who has been in this position before, so those who have felt intense anger towards their exes, what helped you move past it? Would it be a bad idea if I texted her to let her know the pain she caused me? I don't know how else to move on from this. Nobody has ever hurt me this terribly as she has. Later on, I decided to visit psychotherapist and psychiatrist as I fell into deep depression and anxiety plus I daydreamed a lot about hurting her so psychiatrist prescribed me risperidone, atypical antipsychotics, and antidepressants to get rid of those delusional thoughts. It didn't really help. So now I wonder what to do next. Here are some of the best comments from our community. I'd contact the husband and tell him everything. Maybe by letting him know it would give you some sort of closure. Why should she live without any consequences for what she did to you and her husband? After you tell him, and know that he knows everything, block them. And move on. What's done in the dark always comes to light. Good luck stranger. And please don't let this cunt live in your head rent free. She does not deserve it. Kick that bitch out! Exclamation mark. You can't be so naive bro. For a year she never flew out to you. Red flag 1 Sue was made rude but didn't love her husband Red flag 2 you couldn't stay in the city she lived in Red flag 3. Honestly you need to get some color blind glasses cause you must not be able to see any colors. It sucks to be cheated on but with you agreeing to be the affair partner you aren't the victim. Her husband is. Also this is just a life lesson for you, ignorance is bliss but you can't be so naive to believe everything someone tells you because you want to believe them and it's what you want to hear. Please, you have every right to be angry. I'm going through the same BS myself and I've never hated someone so much in my life. While I'm full of anger I'm also relieved I don't have to waste another moment with my ex. I spent so much of my energy trying to be perfect, I gave my ex everything. I just couldn't do it anymore, it's not hard to not cheat. Cheating can take a long time to recover from, so take your time. He'll write. When you're ready the right person will come and put that same effort back into you. You didn't ask for this, you're the one who was cheated on. Be angry, be sad and depressed. It's okay and normal to feel that way when someone you love stabbed you in the back. Just know you aren't alone. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.